Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Video Direct 10. I'm back. Have you missed me? I've been out for at least four days. We've been having our floors redone. We sanded. There's polyurethane on the floor. And, you know, we had to be out of the house for that polyurethane because we were all getting a little lightheaded. You know what I'm saying? So we couldn't be here. So I had, I had no way to make videos. Uh, where I was for those four days, I had no way to make videos. I had, not, I had no inter internet connection. So... I'm back and I'm alive and I'm happy. Are you ready? Because I have a raw review for you guys. A long overdue raw review of last week's show. Last Monday night show. So, we'll start off by saying that Triple H was in the ring. He's addressing the crowd and saying that he will be the referee during the CM Punk John Cena match. Now this right here is going to add a whole new perspective to the match to me. This is going to be very, this is going to be very interesting. And I do hope that CM Punk wins the match. He is the true champion. He already is the true champion. He's the true champion since Money in the Bank. That's it. John Cena? No. No. Anyway, you know, he says that uh, on Monday Night Raw tonight we will have a contract signing with CM Punk and John Cena for that match that will take place at SummerSlam, which is tomorrow night. Can't wait for that. Um, so, a little bit of contrast signing between the two and all that. So the first match is that he has matches with John Cena will have a match and CM Punk will have a match on Raw. So first match is John Cena versus Jack Swagger, which is kind of interesting because you don't ever see them wrestle much, but it's an interesting pair up. Who wins? John Cena. Duh. It was an okay match. Whatever. So they move on to Truth in the back. He's talking. You know, Truth's talking. Who does think? Talking to whoever. Um, just do the same old, same old, same old. Truth is just, you know, he's a good wrestler, but the gimmick's getting kind of weird. They have uh, Miz versus Ray. And uh, before it all starts, Miz attacks Ray from behind. And he wants a ref to say he won the match. That he won the match after attacking from behind. That the Miz won the match. He wants the ref to say, hey, I'm the winner, and he'll lift my hand. So the COO says no to that. Triple H says no, no, no. So now it's Miz versus who? Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston, ladies and gentlemen. I like Kofi Kingston, but I do believe they are not showing enough of his potential in the wrestling. I don't know what's going on, but maybe it'll change. Uh, so, good match. Kofi Kingston wins the match. Um, so, you know, they add over that. Now, next we have Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio, and this is going to be Punk's match. Punk wrestles Alberto Del Rio right here. Um, good match. Solid match. I love watching CM Punk wrestle. CM Punk wins the match. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, then you have a Beth Phoenix versus Eve match. Beth Phoenix is now a heel, I guess you could say. Uh, never been a fan of Eve. So it's interesting to see that Beth Phoenix is moving up. Seems like, why do you think? Why? Could it be because of CM Punk being her boyfriend? Ah. So. Beth versus the then out comes Kelly Kelly. She hits Beth from behind after what Beth did to her last week, throwing her into the security wall, all this other great stuff. Beth versus Eve, you, you know, you want to see that match, but here comes Kelly Kelly. She hits Eve from behind. I mean, she me, hits Beth from behind. So not much to that match, you know, that's all it was, really. Um, you, uh, then we have... Uh, a match that was pretty interesting. It was uh, Dobbs Ziggler versus a Ry Alex Riley. I like seeing Alex Riley come up doing his thing without the Miz. He's a decent competitor, I think. Uh, but uh, the match, Alex Riley won the match due to Vicky interfering. Uh, it looks like Vicky will be leaving Dolph. I think they're finally going to split them two up. I don't know where Vicky's going to go. I don't know where Dolph's going to end up going, but 
Maybe they'll have some for Vicky. Although I will say, she's losing a whole lot of weight. There's pictures out there of Vicky, and I may post one of you guys of Vicky. And no, it's not photoshopped. It's not photoshopped. See? Uh, I know. I believe it was on her Twitter account. <laughs> her Twitter account. I don't know. What do you think? I'll put, you, put the picture up here and let you see it. Um, she is, uh, I think she was leaving it off. Um, anyway, so now we have a Truth and versus Morrison match. Truth wins, and by the way, this is probably one of my favorite matches of the night. This probably was my favorite match. They were, this is good. I think uh, Morrison may be a little upset that his girlfriend, uh, um, uh, Melina has left, has been let go from WWE. She has nowhere to go now. Well, there's the dreaded TNA she can go to. Uh, but I don't know. Miss Melina, she's, she's, I met her once before. She's really cool, but I don't think she's a crybaby also in the back. But I think uh, Morrison's really ticked off. Really ticked. They're mad. But that match was crazy between him and uh, Truth. He was all over the place doing some crazy stunts. Oh, man, jeez. Um, anyway, great match. Truth wins, though. Okay, whatever. Now, I, uh, we're coming up right now to the punk scene the contract signing now. There's a lot I can say here. There's a lot I may, for, may forgot, but I have it in my notes. Just they had the signing. I'm going to tell you what. I just want to say... Thank you to WWE for letting CM Punk be CM Punk. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he gets out there, they're at the table, and, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth, jibber jabbering. They, they break, they're breaking character here, you can kind of tell. I think these guys have no liking for each other, one another whatsoever. Um, at one point, CM Punk tells John Cena, listen, you tried to make it in bodybuilding, but you couldn't make it, so you came to wrestle. Uh, I can't really remember some of the stuff they said, but guys, you have, anytime there is CM Punk in the ring talking, nowadays we want to tune in to our TV set and we want to listen because it is going to be cool. He said some stuff. Matter of fact, one thing I do remember, John Laranatis was standing there with CM Punk overseeing this contract signing. And he looks at John Laranatis and says, so is that why you, he was asking some, for some reason why he did something. And he said, CM Punk says, is that the reason why you fired Vladimir? Is that the reason why you fired Vladimir? I mean, is that the reason also you got rid of, uh, you know, Chris Masters. We never hear them mention stuff like this on the show, folks, when people don't let go. But CM Punk let it out, and it was it was awesome. It was electric. It was electrifying. He let it out. So great match. But the end of the, the, the I'm, excuse me, not, I'm excited here. I'm excited. I can't wait for SummerSlam. I'm really excited. It wasn't a match, but they wanted to turn it into a match. After they signed their deal, they stood up, and uh, I can't remember who pushed who or what happened. At some point during all the little brawl thingy, CM Punk was trying to kick John Cena in the face. And instead, he kicks John Laranatis in the head. Bam! Knocks him out. <coughs> Black. So, my gosh. It was very interesting. Um... So, was it a great Raw? It was a wonderful Raw. It had solid matches, and it had excitement, and it ended wonderfully, perfectly. Great job, WWE, for ending this Raw again, right spot on. Thank you. I cannot wait for SummerSlam. I will be watching SummerSlam at my Hooters in Hiram, Georgia. I'm excited. I'll be there. My buddy Dennis Spitzer will be there. That's Triple H, capital Triple H's, 031972. And our friend, uh, 
RKO 2582 will be there. We're going to be in Hiram watching the pay-per-view, and we will be coming back at you the next day posting our review. RKO 2582 will probably post his review when he gets home, but I can't do that. I can't do that. I've got to get home. I've got to get to bed. But we're excited for the SummerSlam. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting to find out who the real champion is. Now, WWE, please, please, we want to see CM Punk, the true champion. I want to see John Cena turn heel for once, for once. Please, let this be it. Let's bring a new era into the WWE. I'm excited. Can you tell? Anyway, tomorrow night, pay-per-view SummerSlam. Try to catch it if you can. I will be, I, I, I myself and others will be posting reviews about it. I hope it's going to be an awesome pay-per-view. going to be a solid lineup. Main event, John Cena versus CM Punk. He's going to come out the true champ. Both the champions. I think it will be CM Punk all the way. Um, so this has been in my video. Like I said earlier, I'm sorry. I've been out for a while, for a few days, but I'm back. And uh, I'll, I'll be posting some football reviews for you coming up. How about those Atlanta Falcons, even though they lost yesterday? It's just an exhibition game. It's not the real season yet. So let's be cool about it. But i tell you what, I'm ready. I'm a Falcons fan. I'm ready, 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 ready. And I'm ready for Georgia. Go Georgia. Big dog fan in September. A lot of good things are happening on the horizon, folks. This is Video Direct 10, and I will see you guys on the other side. Peace.